Okay, so we're going to uh, change things up a little bit here and start to uh, sort of document current projects. And one of those is uh, bolt action. So we're going to start off with some uh, some unboxing here. And first thing we're going to look at is this Soviet infantry box, right? So as with any project, you've got you know when it comes to mini wargaming, you have to start out with infantry. So let's take a look at what comes in this box here. All right, so here we've got the box of Soviet infantry, World War II Red Army infantry. Uh, you've got 40 hard plastic, 28 millimeter multi-pose miniatures uh, representing mid to late war uh, Soviet infantry. So uh, let's take a look here at the back of the box. Uh, you can see some of the poses that you can expect to get out of here, and it gives you a breakdown on what's inside the box. You've got uh, According to the notes, enough plastic components to make 40 Soviet Union infantry miniatures includes a host of options to allow for different weapon configurations and command models. Uh, weapons include uh, the Mosin Negat rifle scoped with bayonet without PTRD anti-tank rifle, submachine gun, the PPS-43, PPSH-41 and the PPD-40, Mosin Negat carbine DT-28 light machine gun Tokarev semi-automatic rifle and bayonet version, uh, pistols, captured Panzerfaust, um, in addition, you know, also a Molotov, Molotov cocktail here. So you've got pretty much the full gamut of, of weapons that you would expect to outfit, you know, your, your standard Soviet infantry. And I'm quite impressed, actually, um, with the amount of weaponry that, uh, that it states that's, that's included. Now, also here it mentions, you know, there are multiple heads and whatnot and figurines. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sprues and the contents of the box. Okay, we've got uh, these round bases for the minis. We've got a, a few of those. Looks like several bases for the anti-tank rifle teams, as you can see here. A picture of this fella here with the anti tank rifle. Sprues stands. It looks like there are also, no, that looks like an inspection sticker inside there. Sprues. Okay, weapon sprue contents. Okay, so there are basically two sprues that you get in the box. Uh, two unique sprues. You've got the uh, the weapon sprue here. And as you can see, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of content here. You've got your submachine guns, rifles bayoneted and otherwise, uh, Panzerfaust, drums for light machine guns so th there's there's quite a few options here included in the in this kit and then of course you have the the infantryman sprue uh which would contain enough enough bodies for eight looks like eight one two three four five six seven eight eight infantrymen and it looks like an awful lot of options you've got a bunch of different heads that you can use so included here are 10 different different heads. So eight infantrymen with 10 different heads. Of course, you can mix and match them. You can mix and match the arms. Uh, we'll get around to building these. We'll, we'll sort of uh, update the progress on the build of this kit as well. Um, so basically you get five identical sprues here for the infantrymen. And you get five identical sprues here for the, uh, for the weapons. So, I don't know, that's uh, fairly impressive. I paid uh, 40 some odd dollars Canadian for this kit and for 40 miniatures, I would say that's a, that's a heck of a deal, right? So uh, looking forward to building these. You've got pistols, two satchels, uh, you know, maybe that's a satchel charge. Uh, you've got uh, drums. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of, of the time period. I pay, play a lot of World War II games. So I'm looking forward to building this kit. So there you have it. You've got your instructions sheet. You've got five each of the weapon sprues and of the soldier sprues. And uh, you've got all the bases that you would need for that. So great value in this kit for this Russian, uh, well, the Soviet infantry 
World War II Red Army Infantry Kit. So looking forward to building that. And as I said, we'll, make, we'll go over the, uh, the progress on the build on this. So good deal in there. There's a big box with 40 miniatures in there. And, and like I said, only it cost me 40 some odd dollars Canadian, you know, plus taxes, right? So my opinion, it's pretty good value, but we'll, we'll update on the build after and see how, how they look. Thanks for watching. Fire!